welcome Tamar Braxton and Vincent V. Herbert. <laughs> the snow. Oh, that's okay. Anything for you, Wendy. I love coming here. Aww. Well, that's true. true. You know that. So you jumped in your plane and you came here. Where's Logan? He's at the hotel sleep. Perfect. Because he's smart. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. You are the star, but I have to speak with him for a moment. Oh. All right. Go ahead. Vincent, yes, how much weight have you lost? Uh... <laughs> 90 pounds, 90 some pounds. 90 something pounds. Yeah. Now, Vince, are you used to your new body? Uh, I'm getting there. No, he's not. <laughs> and let me tell you, first of all, I'm a hater. Okay? okay. Oh my God. Because it's not fair, <laughs> because I work out every day, you look great. and I'm like the thick one now, right? <laughs> and so, and it's not right. But he's turned into like the male Kim Kardashian because oh like God. he takes selfies all day. Like he's like, blah, blah, oh my God, yes. And every man, I promise when he stops that, he's like, yes. Like, I'm like, oh my Lord. I feel great. I'm not taking 13 pills anymore. Yeah. Oh, I'm really wow. Wow. So that means that you changed your diet. I changed my diet completely. Are you eating meat? Um, a lot less because of your husband. We talk about oh, he, it all he the time? Talk, he talks to you? Yes, all the time. Sorry. That's okay, I love it. Like, he's one of those. I don't judge. <laughs> you can eat your meat if you want. I'm not gonna judge, but I will look at you side-eye. <laughs> really? Well, Just, I eat lots of meat, girl. I can't stop. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but, so that, let's give some Braxton um, and Herbert shoe cam. Oh, spit on the side, spit on the really sick. <clears throat> I was excited about these shoes. You see this on the side, one? Do you see that? You didn't let the, wait. That? Oh, I just got those. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Can, do you see the? No, you no, guys you can't, can't see, see it. it. Look, the what? Mexico just got me these. I can't wait to wear them. No, get in there. Oh, those. The Y and the S and the L. I waited forever for these shoes. And you wore them in the snow. I did, but mm -hmm. you know, I came here with my Uggs because I cannot mess up my daughter. So as you see that they're still married, we yeah. always read stuff like every other month. You all are divorcing. Somebody's fighting. What's good? Everything is good. We are. Yeah. Good. And God is good. Yeah. And let me just tell you something. <laughs> We've been through a lot in this past year, and it did nothing but bring our relationship closer because, you know, I'm not even going to sit here and act like we don't argue, we don't fight. We all we do. work together. It's a lot of things to disagree about. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But I think that we've come to the point where we know that this is where we are supposed to be. And the love child. Girl, oh wait, God. just like what's and then, then you went on a full page rant. I had to because I felt like I was tried. I felt like my character was tried. You know what I mean? As if if Vince had a love child, I would be the type of woman who would just accept him and not his child. Well, then that's not love because you can't just love a part of a person. You have to love the whole person right. and, and everything that comes with that person. So that's that. To to. Catch you up on the story. Mm -hmm. There is a woman who said that she um, had sex with Vince the night before Vince and Tamar got married. I tried it. And she got pregnant, and Vince was giving her hush money for years, and then all of a sudden stopped the hush money, and now she's not hushing. <laughs> well, first How of long all, have you all been married? Is it eight years? It's been eight years, and we've been together for 14 years. Okay, so, so this child would allegedly be eight or seven or something. And let me tell you something, Winnie. First of all, I have infertility issues. You know what I'm saying? I would love to have a bunch of kids. It would be a blessing for me if, I mean, not the way it happened. Right. But <clears throat> if it happened, you know what I'm saying? But it would have happened the night before your wedding, so technically speaking, I mean, speaking, I still punch you in like the like face, you know what I'm talking Right, right. Still count. By the way, what did you do with the cast? Because I regret never getting one. I you was, didn't get one? I was in a panic to have young Kevin, so I couldn't think about all the beautiful things. But I always tell girls, you know, get those beautiful pictures. Yeah. Is it hanging in your mansion? No, it's, it, you know what? Is it broken? <laughs> it's in Logan's room, actually. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Um, do, do you talk to the girls from The Real? 
Well, it's been know, a year. It's been a year, but you know, I saw um, Tia yesterday at the airport. At the airport? Did you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you say? I said hi. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Did you flip your hair? No. Yeah. Well, Tia. T -t 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 Tia. It was Tia who I saw. Yes. That's not shade. Come on. I, I ain't the shadiest person on the planet. <laughs> I saw her sister. I ain't playing it. <laughs> yeah. Can, can I ask you one more? Oh, okay. Because it's you. It, no, only because, like, I know. I know you don't want to talk about it, but you know I love, I love these people, and I don't want to disrespect, but right. I cannot have you go on Good Morning America right. and talk about your experience on The Real, because then I'll be pissed. I'm like, really? You had a chance to come here and talk? But, but I wouldn't. Okay, but go ahead. Okay. What do you say when you see Adrian? I haven't seen Adrian. If you do? God is good. Hallelujah. Won't he do it? Okay. You're not right. What about Lonnie? Same. Let me tell you something. Anybody. I don't have. Gina, let yeah. me tell you something. The only person that I'm beefing with is the devil. That's it. I am not beefing gotcha. with anybody in my life. You were good on the show. That's all. Thank you. Okay. So now Tamar turns 40 this week. Don't you? <laughs> Look at you, fabulous. About it. Well, big plans? No. You know what? At first, you know, I, I like to go away for my birthday. Yeah. But, you know, I came here and that's cool. And but it's <laughs> like, no, 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 that's not the gag. The gag is, the real gag is it's a blizzard outside and I'm upset because I can't show off my body and stuff, right? Right. Because every year I go on my birthday diet so I can get down to my, you know, preferred birthday weight. Right. And every year that I get older, it gets, you know, harder. And, you As know, Vince sits right. here, uh, very, very, you, you really are, yeah. you really are yeah. conceited. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Vince. I have no idea. I feel great. Look, I feel great. Nobody told me I was that big. And when I realized that I was 315 some pounds and now I'm 230 pounds, and I can go in Neiman Markets and buy a pair of jeans. What? Yeah. yeah, there's nothing like being able to wear off the rack. Exactly. Wait, so now you're stuck in New York and Logan is here. Now, mm -hmm. why don't you just order room service and Girl, chill? Lisa, you have no idea about the food that I'm about to consume in this body. Like, that's what I'm going to do for my birthday. I'm going to eat and sit in the bed and watch TV. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Bye. All right. Um, Tamar. Yes, for you. Um, is, is Tony da dating uh, Birdman? We talked about it on Hot Topics. This is it's... water, right? I'm oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh, your wrist is sick. Who are you, the queen of... Who is this, Imelda Marcus? That's the shoe lady I know. What the fabulosity is going on with your wrist? Well, you know, that's Come on, Rambo, Herbert. get up on it. Get up on this wrist. <laughs> yes. Um... I had to wet my whistle when you asked me about Tony and Birdman. Cause first of all, I don't know whether to call them Birdman, Baby, Young Stunner, you know, Brian. Like, cause I've been knowing them for a long time, right? Okay. She's never actually admitted to me that they was together. But she's your sister. You never actually I, asked her? Like, well, you're you know so I blunt. Did. You know I have and always do. But she was like, and then we're friends who occasionally go out together. I'm like, have you ever been on a foursome with them? <laughs> No, oh, I'm trying to figure it out. No, a date, that's what she means. No, a date. Yeah. No, no, never. But he did come to dinner. You'll see this on <laughs> Braxton's. This and the whole up. family was the there? Whole family, the whole family was there. And he had his shirt all the way down here open like he was going on a date. He looked like Eddie Levert. But that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. But they look like they was on a date, though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll figure it out on but the show. I ain't never seen them kiss and stuff. I kind of want to see it if they together. Well, this is what I want to see. Okay, so I want to see that on Braxton Family Values, you know, whether the Birdman thing is actual. But, I, you know, the thing with your father and having a new wife yeah. and, and hurting Evelyn all those years ago, your mom. Sorry, yeah. mom. Uh, Evelyn, how, how you doing? Uh. <laughs> your, mom, your mom and dad were married for... 35 years. And have a beautiful family of all those children, and then now your dad, though, has moved on with his life, and he has a new wife. Yeah. And it's hard for everybody to accept? Yes. Well, only because, oh, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, because of how they got together. How'd they get together? I'm not gonna call her no side chick, but I'm, no, I'm gonna say, like, girlfriend on the side. Oh. Okay, wait, how long have, has, has your mom and dad, how long have they been divorced? Um, how long is it? 16 years? 17. Has it 17 years? All, all I know is that they was together since I was 11. Him and his new wife. 
Oh, there's uh, might be an overlapation in the That's situation. What I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So you know, I mean, it's not that he got remarried. It's how it came, how about. It came about. And you know. That's our mom. Is and, mom know, dating? No, and I'm upset about that. Like, I've been looking for a stepdaddy for like 10 years, and I'm like over it. Like, where's your man, mama? Like, really? Okay, hold on. I got you a gift. This is so, uh, I hope you're learning stuff through this conversation. But uh, because you, you turned 40, and we celebrate with tiaras here <laughs> and crowns. <laughs> yeah, yes. Premieres Thursday night at 9 on WeTV.